Hello everyone, good afternoon, how are you? So yes, we are here again with the bio part and yes, this class is regarding CHSL that is what all questions are important for the CHSL, what kind of questions are asked and how much we are actually prepared for. All the things you can have a look at this session. So without any delay, let's start with the first question of the day and the first question is sublingual glands release what? So sublingual glands. First of all, before giving this answer, we must be aware of this gland, right? Now, what is the sublingual gland? If I talk about sublingual gland, it is a gland which is present below our tongue. This means we are talking about a mouth. We know, if I talk about digestive system, here, digestion actually starts from our mouth itself. No doubt, whatever you are eating, first of all, the part that comes into in, uh, this particular process is your mouth. Mouth is the one from which you start chewing, right? And this, that process is known as mastication. In the process of mastication, after chewing that particular part, we know saliva is secreted. This saliva is very, very useful for the lubrication of the food so that, first of all, that particular food must not get stuck over here in the neck. One thing. Second, whatever you have eaten, there might be some microorganism. So, this saliva is actually acidic in nature. It will kill those microorganisms. But basically, the question is, Sublingual glands release what? So, if I talk about these options, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is going to be saliva. So, these questions are repeatedly asked in the examination. We must be aware of what all are the benefits of saliva. The first and important benefit is it is going to give you the lubrication. Second, it will kill those microorganisms which might be present in the food. And yes, sublingual gland is a gland from where this saliva is secreted. Now, if I talk about urine, urine is actually waste product. When we talk about excretory system, we know whatever things we have eaten, there might be some waste as well. Now that particular waste, when we talk about stools, that is feces, they are released from the anus part. But if I talk about this urine, so in the urine, we know from the word urea itself, we can rate it with the urine. So urine is containing all those waste, which were actually uh, filtered by what? Nephrons, which is the part of kidney. So yes, urine is a waste. Then you can talk about stool also. They are also waste. And if I talk about hormones, what are they? Hormones are actually the chemicals which are present in our body. Now, what kind of chemicals? What they are doing? So there are several glands from where they, these are secreted. So this is asked from where these hormones are secreted. Please remember, hormones are actually secreted from different, different glands. Now, can you name some of the glands? Yes, we can name them. It might be, might be pituitary. From where we get growth hormone. It might be pineal gland, which is the smallest gland from where melatonin hormone is released. So there are several glands. But yes, if I talk about this question, sublingual glands are the one which are releasing saliva. So here, option number A, that is saliva is the correct answer. Let's move forward with the next question. What is the second question? Which part of elementary canal receives bile from the liver? So now we have four options again. Is it a stomach, small intestine, large intestine or food pipe? So let us see who can give this answer and everyone who is there in the session, please start answering this because this is again and again asked in the examination, we must be aware of all these things. So yes, and everyone who is there in the session, please like it and share it so that we can have lots of candidates and lots of discussion can be done. First, if I talk about this particular question, which part of elementary canal receives bile from the liver? So remember, first of all, if I talk about stomach, stomach is that part of our body where Proteins digestion is done for the first time. So this is asked in the examination, which part of our body is actually digesting protein for the first time? That is our stomach. But they are asking, which part of elementary canal receives bile from the liver? If I talk about bile, so do you know what is bile? Bile is actually your juice, that is bile juice, which is secreted from liver and is stored in gallbladder. But the question which is asked right now, it is what? That which part of elementary canal receives bile from the liver? So this is actually secreted from the liver. But if I talk about its receiving, it is done by small intestine, which is actually the larger part in comparison to large intestine and obviously the largest one as well. Okay. So whenever we talk about food, so it, if I talk about the sequence order, first of all, after the mouth, the food is going to reach food pipe. That is your esophagus right? 
and before esophagus also we have mouth but according to options it would be esophagus so mouth esophagus then your stomach then small intestine then large intestine and finally it is excreted out through the anus so yes the question was which part of the alimentary canal receives bile from the liver that is your small intestine and this bile juice is actually alkaline in nature or, or I'll say it is basic in nature. Cool? Okay. Let's move forward with the next question now. Next we have the inner lining of the stomach is protected by one of the following from hydrochloric acid. Choose the correct one. So let's see who can give this answer. So we have a question and the question is when we are talking about this inner lining of the stomach. So it is protected by one of the following from hydrochloric acid that is we also know that it is known as hcl hydrochloric acid now the question is actually from the stomach part we are aware of that right now if i talk about the inner lining of the stomach so it must be protected from hcl why sir hcl is actually very dangerous acid which might create issue for the stomach but yes inner lining of the stomach is actually prevented by mucus so option number B is going to be the correct answer. What about other options? If I'll talk about pepsin. So from pepsin, what you can remember, I have told you this in the last class also. When we talk about this pepsin, you can relate it with the Pepsi part. Now P for pepsin and P for protein. So pepsin enzyme is the one which is helping in the digestion of the protein. If I'll talk about pancreatic juice, this is secreted by pancreas. If I'll talk about bile juice, this is secreted by liver. And in the liver also what? hepatic ducts so all these questions are repeatedly asked in the examination all these questions i don't want any one of you to miss this fine very important okay let's move forward now next we have cattle quickly swallow grass and store it in their what so let's see who can give this answer and everyone who's there in session now please start commenting so that i can start interaction with you and we'll go in more depth we can do the postmortem of the questions also right so but i need your help because once you put up your doubt, I'll be going with the all those operations in that particular question. So yes, waiting for the answer. Cattle quickly swallow grass and store it in their what? Now this is the question I want answer from everyone. So who is there in the session? Can you please comment and let me know? I want answer from everyone. Please waiting for the answer. Okay. Now if I talk about rumen, please remember whenever we're talking about the cattle, Cattle means we can talk about cow, we can talk about buffalo. So whenever they swallow grass and store it, so they are storing it in what? Rumen. And that's why these cattle are actually known as ruminants. They are known as ruminants. Very, very important. Do not forget. What are they? They are also known as ruminants. Okay. So yes, these questions are repeatedly asked. Do not forget. So question may be from the rumen part or ruminants. You must remember that. Okay. Now, if I talk about esophagus, what is that? Esophagus is the food pipe. This one. That is, after the mouth, the food which reaches is that part. What is that location? That location is the esophagus. Then we have small intestine and salivary gland is the one which is present in the mouth. We can talk about a cheek part. We can talk about a tongue part. Basically, its work is to generate saliva. And I've already told you the use of saliva. That is, to provide, uh, to provide the lubricacy. Apart from that, to kill those microorganisms which might be present. Okay. So let's move forward now. Which of the following does not provide any energy? Now this question can be asked from the nutrients part as well. So we have Kanak here. Hello Kanak, good afternoon. How are you? So after a long time, huh? is everything okay? Cool? Okay. So what I was talking about, I was asking you, which of the following does not provide any energy? Now we are aware of, when we talk about any of the food, uh, whether it is your dosa, idli, whether it is non-veg, whatever you are eating, there are two main things. That is, in the nutrient part, there are two subdivisions, which may be macro or they may be micro, right? So, if I talk about macro part, here we have what? Carbohydrate, protein, fat. If I talk about micro part, here we have vitamins and minerals. So, here, when you are talking about this fat, protein, vitamins, here, vitamins are the one which never provides you energy. It is very important. And that's connect totally correct. Very good. Awesome. So here, the correct answer is going to be vitamin. Let's move forward now. 
वेरी टेबल स्पॉइल्स बिकॉज दे कंटेन रिच अमाउंट ऑफ वॉट इज इट कार्बोहाइड्रेट वॉटर विटामिन और एंजाइम वॉट यू थिंक ओके कनक ग्रेट सो यस ऑल दी अदर कैंडिडेट्स हुआ देर इन दी क्लास प्लीज स्टार्ट आंसरिंग लेट्स हैव अ डिस्कशन विद ईच अदर सो डेट वी कैन गो इन दी डिटेल एंड वील डू पोस्टमार्टम ऑफ दी क्वेश्चन सो यस वेजिटेबल्स एक्चुअली स्पॉइल बिकॉज दे कंटेन वॉट ऑब्वियसली इफ आई टॉक अबाउट आर बॉडी ऑल्सो ना दे एस अ कंपोनेंट विच इज एक्चुअली हैविंग द मैक्सिमम कवरेज इन अ बॉडी एंड वॉट दैट वॉटर इन दी सिमिलर मैन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अ फूड ऑल्सो सो इट इज अगेन कंटेनिंग अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फूड स्पॉइल्स नेक्स्ट वी हैव लेवन इज सार बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट इज इट एसिटिक एसिड एस्कॉर्बिक एसिड टार्ट्रिक और साइट्रिक वॉट यू थिंक क्वेश्चन इज लेमन इज सार बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट सो कैन यू आंसर दिस पार्ट वाई लेमन इज सार एंड आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज आस इन द एग्जामिनेशन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दीज एसिड वन ऑफ द एसिड यू कैन फाइंड इन विटामिन सी प्रोडक्ट दैट इज वी कैन टॉक अबाउट ऑरेंज we can talk about several particular examples where we can even talk about lemon so lemon orange all these are containing what they are containing citric acid and yes lemon is actually sour because it contains citric acid totally correct kanak now kanak are you aware of if i'll talk about this tartaric acid this tartaric acid where you can find if i'll talk about tartaric acid then tartaric acid may be found in tamarind right so yes all these questions are important now let's move forward with the next question corn is a rich source of what is it starch glucose fructose or maltose corn everyone loves the sweet corn and i guess you might have uh, taken momos everyone's favorite so those fried momos with those corn i don't know how many how many of you have tried if you have not tried you can go with it try that cheese and corns combo yeah apples also if i talk about apples yeah but malic acid would be the correct answer over there right kanak okay so what about this question corn is a rich source of what so is it starch glucose fructose or maltose what do you think here please remember corn is a rich source of starch so it will be having starch next we have milk converts into coagulated milk or curd with the help of which enzyme is it renin pepsin resin or citrate now when we are talking about yeah true absolutely correct kanak so now talking about this question milk converts into coagulated milk or curd with the help of what now this is the example which we have taken already when we talk about small kids small kids are having renin which is doing what this renin is the one which converts milk into curd now if i talk about protein now this protein is asked in the examination you must remember now what is that protein the protein is casein and this is casinogen this is asked in the examination so yes when we will talk about this question obviously the correct answer is going to be your renin if i talk about me uh, adults we have hcl over there so yes the correct answer is going to be renin right okay next we have sour milk contains what now i guess this everyone can answer sour milk contains what what do you think sour milk contains what kanak yeah you were correct with that kanak can you please refresh i guess i am getting your comments quite late okay so yes if i'll talk about sour milk please remember these four options are here if i'll try to go with this option just have a look what is that lact can you relate lact with the bacteria which is helping in the conversion of milk into curd yes totally correct if i talk about lact so it you can relate it with the lactobacillus lactobacillus so lactobacillus is actually the bacteria which is helping in the conversion of milk into the curd and kanak you are absolutely correct the correct answer is going to be lactic acid next we have which of the following gland does not release digestive enzyme see correct totally correct if i'll talk about these options so we'll talk about instance uh, intestinal gland you can talk about small intestine over there where we have several enzymes that are helping in the digestion of different different things if i'll talk about pancreas pancreas is giving you pancreatic juice helping in the digestion then salivary gland we have saliva right where we have amylase remember 
which is helping in the addition of the starch or carbohydrate part. But liver is the one which secretes bile juice. So liver is secreting bile juice and bile juice is basic in nature. There is no such digestive enzyme present and hence option number A is going to be the correct answer. This is the important one, do not forget. Liver is the one which is releasing what? Bile juice. Bile juice and the ducts which are present there are hepatic ducts. So yes, the gland which is not releasing any of the digestive enzyme that is your liver. Cool. Totally correct, Kanak. Absolutely correct. Next we have, okay, so we have launched Safalta CHSL 2022 batch where you have 450 plus hours live classes. Then we have live foundation classes. We have class PDF which are given in the bilingual method that is in the English and Hindi com combo. Then we have DPP that is daily practice paper. Then we have mock test series, sectional test, PYQ that is previous year question papers. All these at 3099 only. The price which is there is of 2799 but you can use the code SSB50 and you will be getting the huge discount of 50% where you will be getting this course at only 1399. Next question we have, before moving to the next question, I'll tell you about the example official application, which is one stop solution for the government job aspirants, where you get job alerts, you get structured paid courses, you have free PDFs, you have unlimited quiz and practice uh, papers, then you have free previous year solved question papers and all India scholarship tests, all these at a single platform, just go to Play Store and download it. Now, human body mostly gets energy in the form of what? So we have four options here. What do you think? What can be the correct answer over here? Now, when we are talking about these options, we have discussed, sir, whatever we are eating, whatever we are eating. Now, in that part, if I talk about nutrients, whatever we are eating, we get nutrients. Now, nutrients may be of two different types. You have discussed. First one is macronutrient. And another one is micronutrient. Now, so what all things come under macronutrient? Just discussed. What is that? Those nutrients which are required in large quantity. Nutrients which are required in large quantities. For example, you can talk about carbohydrate. Then you can talk about fats. Then you can talk about proteins. So all these comes under micro, sorry, macro part. But if I talk about micro, what all things are here? We have vitamins. Then we have minerals. Now, if I talk about these options, just try to have a look. So we knew energy can, we can obtain them from carbohydrate also, these parts, but we are not getting energy from vitamins part, we have discussed. Now, if I go with this part, most energy, so mostly if I talk about, then the correct answer is going to be carbohydrate. One more thing, this is also asked in the examination, which gives you instant energy. So please remember, instant energy is given by carbohydrate itself. So the instant energy part, instant energy is given by carbohydrate only. So in this manner, please remember, this question can be tested in one way or the another. So the car carbohydrate is going to be the correct answer. Next we have, saliva helps in the digestion of what? Saliva is helping in the digestion of what? Now, when we were discussing about saliva, you remember? So, when we talk about our body, if I talk about our mouth, if I talk about our mouth, in our mouth, we have salivary glands, where salivary glands, where saliva is actually secreted. And this saliva, saliva which is there, it is providing lubricacy also. Apart from lubricacy, it is also killing microorganisms, no doubt. But one more thing, if I talk about this saliva, here it is helping in the digestion of starch as well. Right? So here, yes, we have option number B over here. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is going to be starch. So if I talk about these options, starch is going to be the correct answer. Okay? Next, which one of the following is the first enzyme to mix with food in the digestive tract? Let's see who can give this answer. Now this is again, all the questions are important. Please do not miss any of them. Waiting for the answer, please. I have just explained. Let's see who can answer. And everyone who is there in the session, please start answering. And please, please, please like it and share it so that we can have lots of discussion and we can go with the postmortem of the questions. So yes, which one of the following is the first enzyme to mix with food in this 
digestive tract is it trypsin cellulose pepsin or amylase till the time you are giving me answer let me tell you when we talk about a mouth mouth is the first place from where this digestion actually starts why we say so the thing is that when we are talking about this our mouth part remember the first thing that we do is we are chewing our food and this process is known as mastication what is that mastication now what will happen whatever you have eaten there might be several nutrients there might be different different things now kanak has told sir it would be d amylase and that's totally correct very good so what i was saying in the mastication process we know within the mouth we have some enzymes for example i can talk about amylase and amylase is the one that is helping in the digestion of starch very good kanak proud of you so yes you are absolutely correct when we are talking about the enzyme which mix with the food in the digestive tract so here we will talk about amylase so amylase is the first enzyme to mix with the food in the digestive tract which is helping in the digestion of starch very good next question we have what is the correct sequence of the parts in human and elementary canal so we have four options here what do you think which one is going to be the correct sequence order now again let me tell you this question is asked in two different ways one is it can be mastication then adsorption absorption assimilation in that sequence order it may be asked or it may be asked in this sequence order about the organs so yes what do you think what is the correct sequence order of the parts in human elementary canal so obviously digestion is going to start in mouth this we all know because chewing of the food is going there but if i talk about digestion so amylase is used in order to digest the starch part now we have four options here what do you think what is the correct answer so kanak is going with d and yes let's start whatever we are eating first of all for example if i am eating dosa i have taken dosa i use my mouth first then after my mouth it will reach this food pipe which is known as esophagus after esophagus it will reach my stomach that is my tummy part right after a stomach we know that small intestine is going to play the role yes after a small intestine we have large intestine and finally the food is going to be excreted out through the anus that is the waste part connect you are absolutely correct the correct answer is going to be option number d next next question is which juice secreted by the organ in elementary canal which plays an important role in the digestion of fats what do you think what is the correct answer which juice is secreted by the organs in the elementary canal which plays an important role in the digestion of fats what is the correct answer kanak and all the other candidates who are there in the class please answer this part what do you think what is the correct answer one of the name we have already discussed actually we have discussed about both of them in today's class itself i guess now you can answer what do you think sir when we talk about digestion we know there might be some enzyme and all but sir you told one thing if i am talking about bile juice that was not an enzyme right but one part is there which is secreted from the pancreas and from name pancreas itself we can relate it what is that pancreatic juice yeah that's right so if i'll talk about this particular question so the juice which is secreted by the organs in the elementary canal plays an important role in the digestion of fats and what is that it will be your bile juice and pancreatic juice do not forget very very important do not forget this is the part that is pancreatic juice and bile juice will be the correct answer over here that is option number c next question is saliva helps in the digestion of what i guess now you can answer this part saliva helps in the digestion of what and this question is repeatedly asked in the examination i guess now you can answer this saliva helps in the digestion of what answer please saliva helps in the digestion of what so it is starch fiber proteins or fats yes just think of it what is the correct answer okay so yes if i talk about saliva we know that saliva which is there in our mouth we have discussed about it where we were talking about amylase enzyme what was that amylase now if i try to relate it sir i gave you the trick also ac amylase carbohydrate please remember the first thing that is actually digested in our body that is going to be a starch or carbohydrate part right so your option number a is going to be the correct answer 
So I've actually marked the wrong part over here. So the correct answer is going to be starch. Please remember the correct answer is going to be starch, right? So the first thing that is diastated in our mouth. Next we have in the buccal cavity of the human being, digestion of which of the following gets started? In the buccal cavity, digestion of what actually gets started? So let's see who can answer this. Answer please. In the buccal cavity. Now if you're not aware of the buccal cavity, I'll tell you. What is it? Buccal cavity that is we are talking about a mouth. Now when we are talking about a mouth, this means we'll cover all those things which are there here. It may be tongue. It may be teeth. It may be all those salivary glands. What all things are present here? Please remember that part is known as buccal cavity. And yes, we are aware of whatever we are eating. The first thing that gets digested, the first thing that gets digested is what? That is your carbohydrates. So here, please remember the buccal cavity of the human being, digestion, uh, digestion of carbohydrates actually gets started. Cool? So these are the questions. Do not miss any one of the questions. All these questions were previously asked in one way or the another. And yes, these are the repeatedly asked questions as well. So has the mo most probability of coming in your examination as well. Don't miss any of the question. Okay. Next we have, what is the role of mucus secreted by the stomach? I guess now you can answer this. We have discussed about it, right? Okay. So what is the role of mucus that is secreted by the stomach? Is it the digestion of the fats? What do you think? What is the correct answer? What do you think? What will be the correct answer over here? What is the role of mucus which is secreted by the stomach? Till the time you are giving me answer, let me explain. Whenever we are talking about a stomach, we must remember some things. First thing is, in our stomach itself, we have an acid that is known as hydrochloric acid. Now, this hydrochloric acid is the dangerous one. Why? Because if I talk about normal acid which is there in your MST labs, when it used to spill on our hand, it used to make it yellowish in color and we used to feel the burning sensation. Now, just think that particular uh, acid is actually present in our stomach as well. Now, this acid which is present in our stomach, it might create issue for the stomach. So, the inner lining of the stomach is to be prevented from something. And yes, Kanak has given the answer. So, it would be option A and you are absolutely correct, Kanak. If I talk about the mucus which is secreted by the stomach, so here it is giving the protection to the lining of the stomach. If this will not be present, we will be having ulcers in our stomach and we'll pay, face several issues. So in order to prevent ourselves from, from those issues, this particular mucus is actually there. Okay, next we have, which is the longest organ of the digestive system in our body? Is it pancreatic duct, small intestine, large intestine or esophagus? What do you think? And connect, it's good that you're giving all the correct answers. Very happy. So my question is, Question is, which is the longest organ of the digestive system in our body? Is it pancreatic duct, small intestine, large intestine or esophagus? What do you think? What is the correct answer? Longest organ of the digestive system. When we talk about the longest organ, we must remember. Sir, what? When we are talking about the whole length of this elementary canal, it starts from where? Sir, the digestive, this elementary canal actually starts from mouth. then there is esophagus, then we have our stomach where this digestion actually takes place, then we have small intestine, small intestine, after small intestine, we have large intestine and then we know there is a rectum part where food is, stores, food is stored for a while and finally it is excreted out through the anus. So, if I talk about the whole length of this part, in that particular length, the maximum length which is there is of small intestine. So, small intestine is the largest one. So, when we talk about the longest organ of the digestive system, please remember the longest one is actually your small intestine. That is option number B. Do not miss this part. This is very, very important. Always remember, small intestine is greater than larger intestine, actually longer than larger intestine. And it creates a situation, dilemma situation, we think a large intestine must be larger, small intestine must be smaller, but no, if I talk about the length wise, 
then lengthwise small intestine is going to be longer than large intestine. Please do not forget, okay? And everyone who's there in the session, please like it and share it. And yes, please start commenting so that I can start interaction with you. Okay, so now talking about this length, so small intestine and small intestine is the longest one. Next we have after digestion, protein is converted into what? After digestion, protein is converted into what? Now let me tell you one thing. First of all, we must be aware of. So this protein which we are talking about, first of all, this digestion of this protein takes place where? This is asked in the examination. Remember, when we are talking about the digestion of the protein, the first location, the first location where it digests is what? The first location where it digests is your stomach. The first place where protein's digestion takes place is your stomach. Do not forget. And yes, what is there? We know that, sir, in our stomach, we have pepsin. And how can it be related? Sir, from Pepsi word. So yes, in Pepsi, just apply N over here. So this is pepsin. So P for pepsin and P for protein. So the digestion of the protein, first of all, takes place in your stomach. Then, if I talk about this protein, so after digestion, it is converted into what? Please remember, after digestion, this protein is converted into amino acids. So, very good, Kanak. Heads off. Totally correct. So, the correct answer is going to be amino acid. So, after digestion, protein is actually converted into amino acid. And yes, protein digestion is taking place in stomach for the first time. So, here, option number D, that is amino acid, is going to be the correct answer. Next, we have dietary fibers are very much required in our daily food. But for what? So there might be some reason why we are using this dietary fibers. What do you think? It will go, it will be providing you extra protein or it is going to balance the insulin or it will be help, uh, helping your body to get rid of undigested food or it will decrease the tiredness. What do you think? What is the correct answer over here? We say, na, so you must have protein, you must have this, you must have that. So everything has a reason. In this similar manner, when we, when we are talking about this dietary fibers, they might be doing something. Now, what they are actually doing? What do you think? We have four options here. So, Kanak and all the other candidates who are there in the session, please start answering. What do you think? What is going to be the correct answer over here? And again, I'll tell you, all these questions are very important for the examination. Just, they are the selected ones for CHSL actually. Okay. So, yes, when we're talking about the dietary fibers, they're very much required on a daily food because they are going to help you out to get rid of the undigested food. So here, option number C, that is to help our body to get rid of undigested food is going to be the correct answer. They are not going to give you extra protein. If I talk about protein, so protein you can get it from where? You can talk about the white part of the egg. White part of egg. Apart from that, if you are eating dal, that is those pulses, the pulses or those meat part or white part of this uh, egg, all these will give you protein. If I talk about insulin, from where this insulin is secreted, this is also asked in the examination. So let me tell you, when we talk about isolates of Langerhans, isolates of Langerhans. So in the isolate of Langerhans, we have alpha, beta, delta cells, where beta cells actually secrete insulin. Right? So if I talk about tiredness, why this tiredness actually come? The tiredness of fatigue nature actually comes in because after the accumulation of lactic acid, the thing is that when you are working a lot, if lactic acid gets accumulated, it leads to tiredness. That is, we feel fatigue because of the presence of this lactic acid, which is there in our muscles. Okay? So, please remember all these things. So here, the correct answer is going to be C option. That is, it is going to help our body to get rid of undigested food. Next, we have in human body, the digestion of protein begins in the which of the following organs? What do you think? Digestion of protein begins in which of the following organs? I have already discussed about it. I guess now everyone can answer. Waiting for the answer, please. What is the correct answer for this part? Question is, in human body, the digestion of protein begins in which of the following organs? Now, when we are talking about protein, sir, we have discussed what is that? So, we discussed about this, our favorite. Now, what I am going to do, I will just put N over here and tell you that this is actually the enzyme which is present in our stomach. It is an enzyme that is present in our stomach. Now, this is going to do what? 
So it will do one thing that is pepsin which is present it will be helping in the digestion of the protein. So if I'll check these options what is the correct answer? Connect is absolutely correct over here the correct answer is going to be your stomach that is option number D. Very good. Next we have next question is just a second. Yeah. So actually I have done one thing. Cool. Saliva helps in the digestion of what? So I have already given the answer. The correct answer is going to be starch. So now I'll change my question. Saliva is helping in the digestion of starch. That's true. Can you name the enzyme which is present there? I want the name of enzyme that is there in saliva. So what is that enzyme? Can you name that particular enzyme? Uh, Sanjeev, I'll just check. Uh, math classes are actually started. You're talking about the application or you're talking about the YouTube, Sanjeev? If you're talking about the YouTube, just you can just have a look at the schedule. Or if you want after the class, I'll just comment and let you know. Okay? So, you can do one thing. Just after the class, please uh, put it out in the comment part. I'll just, get, uh, I'll just reply that. I'll just confirm and let you know. Actually, math class is going on regularly, right? I'll just let you know after the class, okay? So, yes, if I'll talk about this question, can you answer this part? The question was, the saliva helps in the digestion of what? So, is it protein, starch, fibers or fats? So, we are aware of. That is, the answer is going to be starch. And Kanak, you are absolutely correct. We are talking about amylase over here. Amylase. So, amylase is the enzyme which is helping in the digestion of the starch. Totally correct. Very good. Next, we have bile is secreted by what? So, I will just change this question. My question is going to be now. Okay, first of all, answer this. Then, I will write it here. Bile is stored by what? Bile is stored by dash. So, we will be having same options for that. First of all, answer this. Bile is secreted by what? Bile is secreted by what? So, if I talk about bile. So, bile is actually secreted by what? So, bile is secreted by liver. We are aware of that. Right? Now, if someone asks you, Sir, it is stored where? So, can you tell me where it is stored? Totally correct, Kanak. No issues about that. Absolutely correct. But my question is, where is it stored? We have discussed it in the starting of our session. Very good, Kanak. Totally correct. So, this is also asked in the examination. We must remember that is your gall bladder part. Okay. Let's move forward now. Next, we have which one of the following is not a benefit of saliva? So, these are the four options here. What do you think? Which one of the following is not a benefit of saliva? What do you think? What is the correct answer over here? Just a second. Huh? Okay. So, yes. Which among the following is not a benefit of saliva? What do you think? So, we have four of the options that are here. It facilitates swallowing. It increases RBCs in the body. It keeps the mouth and teeth clean. It aids speech by facilitating movements of lips and tongue. What do you think? So, we'll talk about saliva. The first thing is, sir, it is providing you lubricacy. Whatever you're eating, for example, if I'm eating dosa, if there would be no saliva, now my food may get stuck. First point. So, yes, if I'm talking about saliva over here, please remember, it is doing what? It is helping in swallowing. That is, it is prevent, uh, providing you lubricacy. Totally correct. Then, let's keep on hold with this option. Third is, it keeps your mouth and teeth clean. Obviously. If saliva is there, it is going to keep your mouth and teeth clean. It is also correct. Fourth one is, it aids speech by facilitating movements of lips and tongues. That is, it is helping in its movement. Totally correct. So, the only option left is option number B. And connect, you are absolutely correct. It is increasing the RBCs in your body. It's not the work of saliva. Totally correct. So, here, it was asked, which of the following is not a benefit of saliva? So, obviously, option number B, this is not going to be the benefit of saliva. But all the other options are actually benefits of saliva. So here option number B is the correct answer. Next we have, which one of the following is not a digestive enzyme? <laughs> Kanak is saying B is on hold, so it would be definitely B. You are extremely talented, huh? Okay, let's move forward with this question. Which one of the following is not a digestive enzyme? Let's see who can give this answer. My question is, which one of the following is not a digestive enzyme? Answer please. Waiting for the answer. 
Which of the following is not a digestive enzyme? Answer. No one. Okay. So here we are on hold now. So remember, if I talk about P, we told you what is that? P for pepsin, and it will be helping in the digestion of protein. Renin. If I talk about renin, conversion of milk into curd, right? So Ram is here after a long time, and Kanake Singh sir, insulin would be the correct answer. Ram is also going with insulin, and yes, that's totally correct. Insulin is going to be the correct answer over here. That is option number C. Next we have proteins are digested by what? Now, from the name itself, it is clear. I guess Ram, Kanak, everyone can answer this. When we are talking about protein over here, I guess you can answer now. What is the correct answer? No one? Okay. Just have a look at the word. Prot, prot. Can you relate? Rel uh, relate it? So yes, whenever we talk about protein also and, and uh, pepsin and protease, you can actually relate them. Protease, that is protein. So option number A is going to be the correct answer. Proteins are actually digested by proteases. And yes, if pepsin is there, you can directly click on the correct answer. Next we have, where is bile stored? We have just discussed about it. Kanak, you gave the correct answer that time. So here we are not going to take any more time here. We'll directly say, so if I talk about the storage of bile, it is done by gallbladder. Whenever we are talking about that secretion, it is done by liver. So here, if I talk about spleen, do you know what is spleen? Spleen is the part of our body where the dead RBCs actually go. So spleen is actually known as the graveyard of the RBCs. This is asked in the examination, we must remember. Okay. And talking about kidney, we have several nephrons over here, which is helping in the purification of the blood. Yes, Kanak, you are absolutely correct over there. The correct answer is going to be gallbladder. So bile, uh, bile juice is actually stored in gallbladder. Ram, I want your answer as well. So how many canine teeth are there in uh, how many canine teeth are there in an adult human? So is it two, eight, six, four? What do you think? What is the correct answer over here? Yeah, that's graveyard. That is actually asked in the examination, so I have actually kept it. So my next question is, how many canines? Uh, sorry, how many canine teeth are there in the adult human? So is it two, eight, six, four? What do you think? What is going to be the correct answer over here? How many can and teeth are there? Is it 2, 8, 6 or 4? Not aware? Okay, I'll tell you. When we are talking about the can and teeth, they are actually 4. That is 2 on the upper part, 2 on the lower end. Yes, totally correct. Anak. Very good. Next, moving forward. Buccal cavity is an important component of which of the organ system? We have discussed one of the questions regarding buccal cavity, right? Now, let's see who can answer this. Buccal cavity is a component of which of the organ system? Is it digestive system, respiratory, circulatory or reproductive? No need to explain this, I guess. And Ram, waiting for your answer again. So Ram, Kanak and everyone who is there in the session, please, please, please start giving answers. So that we can have lots of discussion. I want to do the postmortem of questions. I want your support. Yeah. So, buccal cavity, let me tell you, but buccal cavity is including what? That your mouth part, where you have teeth, then there's tongue, then we have those salivary glands and all, all those parts. Now, just think of the scenario, we are talking about mouth, teeth, tongue. Obviously, it is going to be your digestive system. Totally correct, Kanak. Absolutely correct. Great. So, here, option number eight, that is digestive system is going to be the correct answer. Next, we have the facial matter is removed through the NS from time to time. This is known as what? Facial matter where we can, we can talk about stool. Yeah, Ram. Totally correct. Very good. Now, talking about this, the facial matter is removed through the NS from time to time. This is known as what? Is it absorption? Is it ingestion? Is it ingestion or is it assimilation? What do you think? What is the correct answer over here? The facial matter is removed through the NS from time to time. This is known as what? Is it absorption, ingestion, ingestion or assimilation? So, Ram is going with A, Kanak is also going with A, that is absorption. Kanak, you are also going with A? No, that was for the previous one, right? Now, see, 
whenever we are talking about this facial matter, this means we are talking about excretion part. Ram is going with D, that is assimilation. Okay. See, Ram, what happens when we are talking about ingestion? This means we are taking taking food in. That is, we are take, talking about the intake of the food. And whenever we are talking about the removal of a uh, waste, that is removal of waste, that is solid waste. So we are talking about removal of waste, that is your ejection. What is absorption part? Whatever you have eaten, the taking out of all those nutrients part, that would be in the case of absorption. If I talk about assimilation, the working of those nutrients, whatever they are, we are sending that location and please work according to your work. So yes, achha, that was our previous one. Totally correct, Kanak, absolutely correct. So here the correct answer is going to be ejection. So facial matter is removed through the NS from time to time. This is known as ejection. Important. Cool. Let's move forward. So Ram, do you have any doubt? I guess it is clear now. Ram and all the other candidates, is it clear? If there is anything that you want to ask, please let me know. If it is clear, we'll move forward. Okay. So we have next question now. Which of the following organ has finger-like outgrowths which are known as villi? If I talk about the singular form, it is villus. So is it large intestine, bladder, small intestine or stomach? What do you think? What is the correct answer over here? Answer please. Which organ has a finger-like outgrowths which are known as villi? Is it large intestine, bladder, small intestine or small stomach? Finger-like outgrowths. Willy. No one? Okay. Here, when we will talk about Willy, let me tell you, it is providing you the maximum surface area so that maximum digestion can take place. And we know, maximum digestion takes place actually in our stomach. Sorry, maximum digestion actually takes place in a small intestine. So, if I talk about the maximum digestion that is small intestine, so in the small intestine part, we have three things. That is, duodenum, then we have jujinum and we have ileum. So we have villi in this small intestine which is helping in the maximum absorption and yes, maximum digestion can take, take place. So you are going with A. Kanak, let me tell you. So it's good that you are giving these answers because once you are in the case of doubt now, I'll just resolve it. Let me tell you. When we talk about large intestine, na, beta, in large intestine what happens? Whatever we have eaten, whatever we have eaten, now what happens, it's digestion takes place. So digestion already starts in a mouth. If I talk about a small intestine, maximum digestion takes place there itself. Now what is left? Only and only solid waste and water. It's the combination. So large intestine only absorbs water. Large intestine just absorbs water. And the solid waste which is left is kept in rectum for a while and finally excreted out through the NS. So if someone asks you about this digestion, Maximum digestion actually takes place in a, a small intestine itself. And yes, small intestine is only having duodenum, jujinum, ileum, where it is also having belly, which is a finger-like projection, as if it is like this. So many fingers are there. So it is help, helping in the process of digestion. Okay, so we'll be having the last question of the day. And the last question is, okay, so we are done with the questions. Huh? So yes, the organ which is having finger-like outgrowths, so they are known as villi, they are present on the small intestine. Okay, so we'll meet day after tomorrow at the same time with the new topic of the bio. So every day, we are not having these classes, we are having these classes on the alternative days. That is Monday, Wednesday and Friday at the same time between 1 to 2. Okay, so I'll be waiting for you all on the next class that is on the Friday. So everyone, please remember, we are going to have science class on Monday, then Wednesday, then Friday on the alternating days. So we'll be meeting there. Okay. So it was interesting. I was, achha, achha. okay, Kanak, okay. No issues. Actually, it happens in the examination. But I'm very happy to see that your each and every answer was correct. Uh, except this one. So it's very good that you have actually ready for this CHSL examination. So we'll be meeting on Friday. In case you have any sort of doubt, comment section is always there for you. Please let me know. Okay. So, bye-bye everyone. Please take care. And yes, again, I'll tell you, we have Safalta batch, which is launched. So, just use SSC code 50, where you can get the price of only 1399, in spite of getting 2799. And you can download our application. Okay. So, bye-bye everyone. Please take care. Jai Hind.